need to provide depreciation now you must be wondering that you know once I bought an asset let's say in the previous example that I took I told you about car okay the previous video actually explained about the concept of depreciation now once I've bought a car I've made a payment let's say 100k for it right my money is gone you must be wondering why should I charge depreciation for accounting purposes on a year-to-year -year basis right when the payment that was to be made has already been made and I'm under no obligation to make any other payment whatsoever if there are any repair expenses or maintenance expenses that I am going to charge to the profit and loss account so why should I charge depreciation now there are several reasons for this okay but I will concentrate on three or four key reasons the first reason is the financial statement stroke position now when you prepare your balance sheet okay you declare let's say for example we're talking about car only you will declare car at 100k right but let's say for example you reach year 3 if you do not provide depreciation the car will stand in the books at 100k right well because you have actually been using it over a period of three years the value of this car if you go and sell out in the market may not be more than 70k or maybe 60 or maybe 50 or maybe 40 so the reason for providing depreciation on a year-to-year -year basis is to try and bring this asset value okay which is this 100k to a more realistic number as against the cost because if I continue to carry it on cost the balance sheet will show that I have an asset of 100k whereas the value of this might be 70k only so the first reason for providing depreciation is to reflect the current financial statement at a correct value let's talk about a second reason we know that when we account for depreciation we pass an entry depreciation account debit to fixed assets and then this depreciation is charged to the profit and loss account profit and loss account debit to depreciation towards the end of the year right but when we provide for this depreciation do we actually pay any cash no right from a business point of view what this does is that your profit and loss okay or the income that you earn because you provide for this expense goes down while the cash which you have earned stays at a particular number and therefore this is up so what happens is year to year basis you keep on providing for depreciation which is an expense okay which reduces your profit and loss account and because you can pay your shareholders based on the profit and loss account only you keep on accumulating cash so let's say if this asset was worth for five years you charge 20 20 20 20 and 20 worth of depreciation every year your profit and loss account will go down by 20 right but you will still keep on accumulating this cash so first year 20 second year 20 plus 20 then 40 plus 20 then 60 plus 20 and then 80 plus 20 so at the end of five years you would have accumulated 100k and if after five years this car cannot be used and you want to buy a new car instead of actually taking out 100k at one go what you have done is you have saved that money over a period of time to provide for the replacement of an asset right so depreciation basically helps you to provide for the replacement of an asset the third thing is cost of production in order to produce various goods you might be using plant and machinery right every year because of depreciation the value of plant and machinery 
keeps on going down. So depreciation which is provided on this plant and machinery is nothing but being incurred because you are producing certain units of goods and it is actually nothing but a kind of cost cost or an expense therefore to arrive at the true cost of production of this goods I mean cost of production is nothing but what the cost incurred in producing a certain set of goods so to produce these goods one of the other cost that you are incurring is depreciation therefore depreciation is also provided because it helps you to ascertain the true cost of production of goods and then there's a legal requirement also so under the companies act and there might be similar legislation in each of the countries or the tax provision in India it is called the income tax act 1961 you have IRS and other codes in various parts of the world you are required to mandatorily charge depreciation because they believe that by charging depreciation you are presenting a true and fair view of the accounts again there can be various reasons for providing depreciation but predominantly these are the four reasons which are there because of which depreciation is charged on assets thank you for being with us today you can watch many more account videos at our YouTube channel and our website.